Lane County Youth Services has been selected to partner with Georgetown University in an effort to bridge the gap between the child welfare and juvenile justice systems. KZI 9 News reporter Sarah Hurwitz is live from the Lane County Juvenile Detention Center with details on this program. Sarah? Well, Brian, this is the place where kids go if they've committed a crime here in Lane County. But leaders here say for a lot of the kids who have made poor decisions, their clouded judgment may be the result of other issues in their life. And a new model from Georgetown University helps in getting to the root of the problem. Underneath her smile, there's painful memories. I came from a very broken home and I had really bad communication skills. I had anger issues. Denise Ramirez, who's 25 now, entered the juvenile justice system when she was just 12 years old. Issues with authority. Um, I didn't like the idea of anyone handling my case. But her probation officer, Amy Hill, knew Ramirez could reshape her life. It became very obvious from the beginning that she, that she felt um, unheard and powerless. That's when Hill started working with Ramirez and her father, hoping to close the door on a dangerous cycle. Denise's family was um, reluctant to engage with the system because of, their, because of their own concerns about how they might be judged or what their history was. We'll be able to work with child welfare and youth services collaboratively. Youth Services Assistant Division Manager John Aaron says Ramirez's case is a prime example of how pairing the two worlds of the child welfare and juvenile justice systems can do wonders for the overall outcome of a child. And we're able to utilize the best thinking from from both both worlds, dependency and delinquency. This will ensure that we do that in a formalized way. The crossover youth model from Georgetown University Center for Justice Reform is designed to, using research, allow those in the court system to access an organized list showing whether a child is in both the juvenile justice system and child welfare. And Aaron says that oftentimes when a child has committed a crime, there are other issues at hand. And this model gives community leaders a look at the bigger picture, one Denise Ramirez sees clearly. And if everybody gave up on me, then I wouldn't be here today. And I would not be able to help all the youth that I help out every day. And I'm so blessed by that. And next month, leaders from Georgetown University will meet with state leaders here in Eugene to talk about the first steps in setting up that program. Live in Eugene, Sarah Hurwitz, KEZI 9 News.